What is up guys, this is Crunchy Edits, and this is my first tutorial on syncing and flow and pan and crop. So I'm doing this tutorial, uh, oh let me start with, uh, I th didn't think I should do any tutorials, probably for like a year now. Um, I kind of wanted to, because I kind of like teaching people and going over like th through my edits. But I was thinking to myself, there's so many tutorials out there, and what's the point? But there is originality to everyone's tutorial, uh, it, and it depends on what type of effect or technique it is. So yeah, enough about that. This is a tutorial about syncing, and yeah. So, so this is a little preview I made in the last attempt to make a tutorial which took me like 40 minutes uh, I'm gonna try to make this faster and less of me talking really bad I kept saying um and so and yeah it was annoying mm, so I'm gonna show you this pre preview real fast to show you what what we are gonna do today so yeah okay so that was a nice flow about two three seconds of a nice flow edit I will also show you an example on the internet on, uh, on a OCC uh, one clip contest edit by FNT. If you don't know him, he's a really nice editor. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of the flow. It's not exactly the same of what I'm doing, but it's kind of similar. So yeah, here you go. Okay, so you get it. The flow. So, yes. So, let's make a new comp. And I just said so three times. Make a new comp. Let's do... Comp 2. Yep, comp 2. Let us... Import... The stuff. I kind of want to... Alright. Let's just import all these. Let's copy all these and paste it here. Okay. Mm. No, no, let's just start from scratch. Sorry. I'm, I'm stupid. Wait. Okay, so here's the song. Basically, I. S come on. Alright, I don't know why the... Oh, wait, never mind. That is the whole thing. I did a gradual fade, and it's just a little part of this song. Uh, yeah, so first you want to import your song. Then you want to make a adjustment layer. Either Control-Alt-Y or Layer New Adjustment Layer. I name it Marks to mark the song to mark the beats of the song. Uh, you want to basically, I think it's called the pound key, or the star. It's above the 9 uh, for your number key, which is on the right side for me. It's by the number lock and stuff, and like the plus and stuff. Yeah, so you want to press that every time the beat goes when you ram preview. And make sure this layer is clicked. So let's just do it real quick. Okay, that was kind of delayed, but well, usually the first beat is definitely off. So when the beats are off, you just move them to the correct places, and damn, that was a kind of bad one. Let's do that again.
Let's move them to the correct places. Alright, that, that was uh, not too bad. Let's delete this. Oh my god. Delete that and make a new one there. And also, let's delete this. Make a new one there. Now we have the beats marked. We want to import everything now. Alright, let's import everything. When doing this technique, you want to have something to make the flow go. The main product. Yeah. Mo most people use Twixter. Another way is Time Remap. Uh, and uh, no, um, in a way I use is called Time Warp. It comes with, I think, every After Effects. Um, I know it comes with CC, CS6, CF, CS5.5. I'm almost definite CS4, and probably all of them. So it's very user friendly. There's no plugin involved. Most people don't use it because some people think there's more warp and they just like twixter better most of the time but i think it's uh, really nice and just simple to use mm -hmm. so let's go to get all the clips let's just scale them 102 because i kind of see the black edges mm. let's take off oops take off those so I'm going to go where he's about to aim in, which is about there. It's a alt begin bracket to cut it. Search up time warp. Okay. First of what you want to do is keyframe the speed to 100 to keep the point of time where it's supposed to be right there. Keyframe the speed. Then go to like the middle of between the first mark and the beginning it's like there and you want to slow it down i usually use 10 or 20 10 seems to be good then go to the mark and do either 100 or 200 or whatever you need to do okay um what did I do in this edit? In this one? Yeah, okay. So the first shot, it's. What we did so far is made it normal. We did normal speed, then slow, then fast. Again. What we wouldn't do is highlight all of them. Either click F9 or right click keyframe assistance and easy ease them. This allows you, well, this allows the keyframes to work out very smooth and allows you to work with the graph editor much easier. So you want to click one of them, click this uh, little button over here, the graph editor, then zoom in, and you want to make it a nice gradual fade. So if keyframe from here to the next is going down you want it to fade down naturally like a ramp if it's going up you want it to fade naturally up so basically like that it it's gonna be nice and smooth and this is just my technique so you don't have to do this exactly Okay, next part, it, what I do is when it comes up to the, the bass or the beat, I s split it, split the layer. So I can't do the the hotkey for this. It's Control-Alt-D because I'm using Camtasia. But you click it, Control-Alt-D, or Edit, Split Layer. So with this, you want to take off the time watch, time, the stopwatch, I mean which disables all the keyframes and turn the speed back to 100 then you want to go 
to either when he first hits the shot, which is in the scope in this case, oops, or when he's like zooming out. And I'm going to do zooming out because it looks a little smoother and less warp occurs when he's already out of the scope. And let me just make this a little faster, 50% faster. So Come on now. Oops, too much. So we want to go where he's like, probably right there. Okay. Next on the time warp, you want to click a hundred once again. Go to the middle and click twenty or ten for the speed. I'm gonna click twenty in this case. Then go to the next mark. Go to either a hundred or two hundred or whatever you need to do. In this case, I'm going to go to like 900. And I need to do that because the next shot isn't for it isn't like right away. So, if the next shot is like right away, you probably want to do less speed. And if it's not right away, you want to um put the speed up more for it's faster and it goes faster into the next clip. A little confusing concept to understand, but you you'll probably understand by the end of the visit, end of this video. All right, highlight all these keyframes once again. F9 or this way, easy ease. Click one of them. Go into the graph editor, and I'm just speeding this up a little bit. Let's see, 12 minutes, not too bad. Okay, so make this, like I said, a ramp. Somewhat like a ramp. And then this going up like a hill. Okay. And you see how the time moves a little bit? Because you're changing it. Okay, so that works good. Now what you want to do is put the gun sound, obviously over it. Let's go to the gun sound. Right there is fine. Do that and do like negative two or negative three. That's usually what I do. And then go to the end. Something like that. Just to fade it off to make it look good. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had to feed my cat and do some others. Now, we have the shot and a nice smooth thing. Going. Usually, what I also do is make it an another adjustment layer, control alt y or layer new adjustment layer. Um, I make it... Wait. I usually make it a uh, motion blur which if you don't know it like blurs all the motion in the clip so i use real smart motion blur which is a pre uh i mean a plugin and i'm using a preset of the plugin right here so i'm gonna make this point four make this 50. so if you don't have this you could search up motion blur and these still work pretty nice uh, CC Force Motion Blur it works um, pretty okay, but I do recommend Real Smart Motion Blur. It makes it look really nice. See, so look like if you turn it off, you see it like moves it. It makes the gun look really cool. Okay, enough about that. Now what we have now is a smooth aim in, and then the shot. Alright, let's do the process one more time, and I could probably skip this whole thing, and we can move on to a different thing. So now what you want to do is split this layer, uh, control alt d or edit split layer. Alright, let's make this speed to 100, and 
unselected stopwatch. Let's go to. You would go want to go to the next shot, but I'm not going to do that just for time reasons. And also, I don't really need to. Yeah, because. Yeah, time reasons basically. Okay. So this is actually the next shot, but I'm not going to. I'm not gonna go to that shot. I'm gonna go to where he jumps. Alright, come on. Which is right here. But actually, I'm not gonna put this yet. I wanna put a cinematic first. So we'll save this for later. Next. The reload one. Okay, so we're gonna have it here. We're gonna definitely speed this up to like 15. I believe it was this one. It needs to be like fast. Alright, right there is good. You do the same thing with time warp. Time warp. Put it on here. I'm just gonna speed this process up. Make it 100. Keyframe. Oh crap, this needs to be faster actually. It wasn't this, it was something else. Let's just make it 50. Um, go to the middle. Ugh. Okay, middle. Good. Now make it 10 or 20. Since it's a cinematic, I'm gonna make it 20. Then go to like 200 here. This is kinda in the way. Oops. Let's change this so we did right here. So then you want to go 200 or 300 or something to do the trick. That's good. Highlight all these. Easy ease. Once again. Then click on one. And just smooth this out. Just going to skip this real quick. Okay, this is all smoothed out. So it goes down and then up. There we go. Looks really nice. Now we want to split it. Well, not split it. Cut it. Uh, alt and bracket. Then you want to get this running man. And keep him in the speed. Go to the center. Actually, I want to have this come a little closer like here. Yeah, let's make this faster. Like 25 or so. I kind of want to start it running, but I uh, I don't know. Like here. We'll, we'll try it. Um, mm -mm -mm, keyframe. Go to the center. Make it like 20. Yep, that, that'll work. And then go to here and make it like 300, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, oh, damn. Sorry, sorry. Let me make the beginning. Oh, oops. Make it back to one. Let me make the beginning just here. Keyframe. Go to the middle. Go to 20. Alright, now go to like 300, 400, or 500. <laughs> Just go until you see this shot. Oops, that's 6,000. That's not good. And I think that's the shot. <laughs> yep, perfect. But it probably won't be perfect when we easy ease and um, affect this. Okay, you already know this process, so I'm going to skip this once more. Okay, I just uh, finished this nice thing. Let's see. It, yep, it works. Cool. Uh, you might get away with not splitting this sometimes. So, yeah. 
this shot is good and we also have to add this also I want to add a nice bass and treble to these about 50 bass and native 25 treble or so copy this put it on here real simple now we want to get the last cinematic so we're almost done get this jump let's put it here and basically the same process so let's what the hell let's get to the jump I want to scale this in a bunch 120 and also position it a little to the right cut this make make this this is the one that was 15 I think no I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking make this like 15 okay same thing with the time warp okay first make it a hundred then go to the middle make it 20 or 30 or 10 or whatever you want then go to the end make it like 300 or so 300 is good for this type of cinematic then easies and I'm gonna skip this part cause you know what to do okay I did uh, the nice uh, smooth keyframes now what I want to do is fade it out cause the song is fading out too. So to zero that so that's like the end of the thing. Okay, so but I just said so again. Damn it. Mm. We pretty much did this whole edit. Um now to finish off with the pan and crop, most good flows need a sc uh scale and rotation or subtle effects through the keyframes. It's kinda hard to explain. But I would make I make a adjustment layer, rename it, name it pump or scale or even transform, which is which I do, because it doesn't just have to be pumps. Put this over everything, even the motion blur. And you wanna kinda repeat the keyframes. First you wanna transform. Okay, it should be in the distort. I don't know. The at the beginning, make it like 120 or so. Keyframe it, and I'm also going to do the rotation. So positive two, keyframe it. Go to somewhat the middle. Make it. I'm going to make it 105 and zero, and I'm going to go to here. Do 120 and negative two. And I'm gonna just keep repeating that process. Well, let me just do one more. Zero, 105, and 120. And I think it was positive two now. Let's see. Yeah, positive two. And you're gonna keep doing that process. I'll be back. Okay, I'm done. Um. I did cheat a little bit. I copied um, the other one from the other edit, but I I did work hard to do this one too. So let's let's uh, look at, into these. So it's really nice. It took me like a whole three minutes. Mm -hmm. So the rotation and scale. The edit should be almost complete. It should look really nice already. Uh, I'm gonna just do a simple color correction. Simple CC. Let's just add some curves. Probably the most basic color correction. Just uh, boost up the brights a little bit. Make dark, dark. Just to kind of get rid of that gray look. perfect and we can also boost up the red a little bit to have a nice cool effect or so that looks good 
Cool. Now let me just get a quick tint. Tint. Do this like 50% or so. Cool. Very cool. Uh, maybe 25. Mm, 35? Okay. So I'm not going to spend too much on the color cushion. I'm just going to actually take it off for now. And also, one more thing. One more good technique to do is to put a wiggle in a nice flow. It. If you don't know, a wiggle is kind of like the, the whole clip, like, kind of shaking right to left. What you can do is search up wiggle. And wiggle, wiggle, um, wig, wiggle, rama is uh, a good, a uh, pretty good way. There's also a wiggle, kind of what's it called wiggle tab here, which I'm not uh, an expert on using. I'm not even try to use it, but just to for viewing purposes, I'm gonna use a preset. It's under Sapphire, which is really cool plugin that has a bunch of nice presets. So shake, okay. Put this on the wiggle. I'm gonna make this point three, and then make this four or so. And I would put this under the scaling and stuff. Okay, I think this edit is pretty much done and it should look very similar to this so I'm gonna preview this real quick and show you yeah okay the preview is almost done and at the end of the video I'll show you a full screen preview just for you to get the feel of it and yeah enjoy Okay, uh, there was one problem. <laughs> I didn't see the shot. What was that? Oh mm, my god. I, <laughs> I messed up big time. Okay. What the hell was that? Oh, okay, I, I I know what I did. What I did was I didn't hmm. make this 20. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe 10. Okay, let's do this back to like a hundred. Okay, let's just uh, make this better. All right, L little little uh, hiccup, mess up. Uh, I I'm not sure why I didn't catch that, but yeah. And I need to move this. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. I was wondering why they, uh, these pumps were, like, extra. Okay. So, like, let me just uh, render it once more. I'll be right back. Okay, I thought that was really nice. Mmm. So you had the nice cinematics and the shot. And let me just make the 120. So you see the scaling and the rotation. And also the little wiggle. It's a little subtle. But it makes it look really nice. Let, let's just uh, do it one more time. Just to see the wiggle. Sorry about that.
Okay, there might be like a little like a little delay with the sound and edit, but I definitely will p do a full screen preview. Okay, I thought that was really nice, and you can also put any type of uh, extra effects too, like um, I can't think of any right now because I'm kind of tired. Turbulent displacement and uh, other creative effects, and yep, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope it wasn't too long, uh, like 30 minutes, uh, kind of long, but not for this topic. Uh, comment in the description what you thought of this, positive, negative feedback, what I could have improved, and also ideas for other tutorials, because I might be, st I might start doing some tutorials now. So, cool. Uh, so the preview is about to come up, I guess. Alright, see you guys there.